Så, vi känner till eh, en nian. Eh, men nu står jag här med Mark Dillon som är en av grundarna eh, till Jolla. Eh, so Mark, what's happened since the N9? Um, we've been working on the Sailfish operating system and uh, we launched the Sailfish SDK this week at Barcelona and it's gotten a lot of good reviews from, from developers and community members. Um, I think it was a very polished offering and with the Sailfish SDK people can start to create Sailfish applications that have all of the advanced features of the Sailfish operating system and we are going to be launching a device and then selling devices in 2013. Will uh, this coming device be available for us in Sweden? Um, Initial market is selling in Finland and then in China and then we will be penetrating into Europe. However, there are open channels that will also be available. So, yes, you will be able to buy the device in Sweden. Looking at uh, the, the offers available now, like iOS and Android, how, what's the biggest difference uh, with, with uh, Sailfish? Um, one of the biggest differences is that we have an open collaboration model. So, not only are we creating uh, Sailfish and Yola devices this year, we're also open to create devices for other partners and uh, we have a great deal of expertise in creating devices. We've been doing this um, at like Nokia for many many years. So we have a great deal of ability to create tailored devices for others and this is one of the things that actually is making us unique against those guys. The other thing is they've been stuck and there's not been a great deal of innovation in mobile for a long time. So the, app, uh, the OEMs are now getting squeezed because they're becoming a commodity. Operators are becoming squeezed into a bit pipe because they don't have the ability to differentiate and even applications are becoming squeezed because it's almost like winning the lottery to create a new application and get it into an app store. So we're providing an alternative and something that's very different and choice is an excellent thing to have for consumers so people can only buy what's offered to them so we're, we're going to give them choice and hopefully they look for for more choices and and demand innovation in the market. So so let's have a look at, at the system and what to expect later this year. So I'll start with, um, we can open the device either with the power button or with a double tap on the screen. Uh, first feature I'll show is the pulley menu. So these work with haptics so you can feel it as you pull down. So one very common action is, okay, I'm walking into a meeting and I want to go to silent. So actually you can perform this action by opening the device, pulling and releasing. And when you feel that first that first bump, you know that now, okay, I'm in silent mode and you can put the device away. Or a similar thing with camera. So I can open the device and open the camera without looking. And then by the time I get the device up to my eye, the camera's already open. So Another thing we have from our lock screen is our notifications, and we have taken um, SMSs, Twitter feeds, and emails, and all of these kinds of things, missed calls, and put them into one place that is always available to the user. Now I'll come to our home screen. I have a few of the applications open that I use most frequently. So uh, email client being one. So without even going into the email application, I can immediately create a new email or sync uh, an email or sync my email uh, client with the server. So for example, now I can create a new email. It opens up the, the, the email uh, form that I can fill out. And for example, I can go to send and be able to send the email and basically just go send and, and put the device back into my pocket without even having to look at it. So uh, similar things we have with our phone application. So I can go to the dialer or I can access my contacts or I can go directly into the phone if I choose. So another good example is the... Uh, the music player, selecting different music or stopping the music. And these are features that are available in the SDK for anyone creating Sailfish applications. Um, I'll show a couple of other unique features. Uh, first off, we have ambiance. So um, how we customize our device or personalize it is very important. And for example, uh, today I'm maybe in a blue mood, but then I'm, I'm going, to, uh, going to the outside where maybe I want to choose something that's a bit more alive. So by taking a photo or one of the or loading a photo into the device, I can basically repersonalize the whole device and all of the applications to reflect the mood or or how I how I would like to see my device today. Another really nice feature uh, for users is the way that we've done um, favorite settings. So as a traveler, um, many times it's important for me to be able to access the flight mode. And I don't want to have to go very deep into a menu to find it every time. Or for example, the, the wireless LAN. Um, I want to be able to turn this on and turn it off or select a wireless LAN as I'm traveling very easily. So these favorite settings can be selected. Um, okay, there's our wireless LANs in. MWC. 
any setting can be selected to be uh, a favorite. So I can remove from the favorites or I can add um, a setting to the favorites. And then not only is it available on the, on the cover, the application cover, it's also available as a favorite setting. So it's always there right when I need it and very, very efficient to use. So we've put a lot of thought into creating a user interface that's very powerful yet easy to use. So it's accessible to any kind of user, but a power user um, can also be very comfortable with it. So these are the primary features of the Selfish operating system. Thanks.